Uh, everyone, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here with uh, my first prototype, version one, of uh, my telekinesis learning and development kit. And it's right here. And it's uh, molded out of clay and put on top of cardboard, you know, because I have to start off somewhere. And I'm not good at um, woodwork, you know, wood carving or nothing like that. But uh, this is it so far. This is my telekinesis. Learning and Development Station. Telekinesis Learning and Development Station. There's the PSI wheel right here. And then there's the parts where you could put like uh, lids, like can, like, like a jar lids or something like that. Or just ping pong balls, smaller, so you could get kind of different results. Uh, just These are just designs. This is just for fashion, for style, and the legs. So it's just not clay, it's not paint or nothing, but that's my... Uh, first version of my telekinesis training kit I may make this a little bit different I may just have a, a mound and a hole inside where you can just put a needle and and I have my dollar right here my Filipino 50 peso it's like worth uh, a dollar over there in the Philippines I think or 50 cents or whatever and this is the one I use it's like it's like 25 or 15 percent bigger than uh, American dollar and this is my first version of my telekinesis training station and that's it right there. And I'm gonna show a little demonstration of my PSI wheel. <clears throat> so I warm, I warmed up before I got into this, so it might move very quickly immediately. Kind of fell down. As you can see. Works very, very well and very, very good. I warmed up before and meditated a little bit, which I don't do a lot, to kind of make sure that I get uh, a good demonstration of the PSI wheel spinning a, uh, a dollar on a nail or on a pointed surface like this. And uh, And that's pretty much it. That's my demonstration of this. I have, uh, as you can tell, um, it's pointed. I use clay water. You know, I got some uh, hardening clay at Walmart, the Crayola hardening clay that you could buy in the bucket. And I bought that, and I just kind of smoothed it up with some water, and then it just let it dry, and it just got like that. And then now you could balance these things on it. And uh, um, that's my first trial version I guess you could say first trial first version of my uh, idea of a telekinesis learning and development station of my idea to create a a long line of different types of uh, uh, objects specifically for telekinesis and development telekinesis this is a station and a kit to help that to put uh, rounded objects a ball a little ball little ping pong balls lids coke uh, bottles Coke cans. I'm gonna try to work on making it wider to put Coke cans on there. Um, I want to put. Uh, I want to make a uh, small holes in the top area and have it be um, uh, air table because to, uh, uh, to balance cans and cokes and uh, cups on it because it's like it, air is chi and I think that the earth air is like chi energy and you have more air along with ambient ener energy and the ambient energy coming from the holes from the air, uh, you know, that's why I want to make an air table because it come more ambient energy to allow to move upright cans and cups and move them more easier. But it'll be balanced perfectly and there'll be a small space between the table and the can and the object itself. And it helps to build confidence so that you can do it without it. Because this is the goal, the end goal is to master this so that you can do telekinesis in other areas in different areas like a regular table or a floor or anywhere you know so you get away from this after you master this moving cans and psi wheel and other things like that and and uh th this is what it's for and i have other ideas for um reinventing the psi wheel like making a round um half sphere hollow sphere with the uh, wings out and it's like a PSI wheel and it has a balancing um, weight in the center of it so that you can rotate it. It's light as paper 
and it's like a different way to reinvent PSI wool so you can move away from a needle and a paper and go into a plastic light object like if you see my Thor helmet videos I want to make something a PSI wheel because I got an idea from the Thor helmet to kind of make a PSI wheel in the shape of that but more differently and much more easier and the balancing weight's going to be in it just like the little bean toys that you've seen in the early 2000s the little bean toys when you push them they would like flip and they would always sit right up so the the the, the object will always sit right up and I have other things that uh, other ideas for inventions for um, telekinesis for the objects themselves to be telekinetic novice friendly you know so they could be uh, telekinetic novice friendly so that so that um, the objects themselves can uh, build confidence for the people who practice telekinesis and chi energy and all whatever you want to call it and so this is my video I won't make it too long and that was my demonstration it worked out pretty well balances perfectly on it perfect perfectly you know and uh, I'm gonna move on on it maybe I might make this a little small mound and put needles physical needles in there you could put them in there but again it's Ricky Cespedes and I have a lot of my ideas I'm posted on my Facebook page you know, um, and I just want to create different things, more wilder ideas that maybe people might think, maybe in the telekinetic community you might think impossible, maybe learning to self-levitate or levitate objects, you know, I have uh, training kits and ideas for that too, self-levitation and for levitating objects, which I believe is possible because if you're moving a ball with your mind or a can with your mind, I'm pretty sure odds are those other ideas are also um, probable and possible because if we're doing the impossible then what makes the other impossible things not possible they are you know I believe that and this is Ricky Cespedes thank you guys for watching and this is my telekinesis, <coughs> telekinesis training and development station and I have other ideas for other training stations for other abilities telekinetic abilities levitating self levitation uh, passing your arm through walls and things like that which is very wild but I believe that and I believe wholeheartedly that it's possible. I just want to put this on here just to kind of have a better look of it just so it could look more cool and much more you know what I'm trying to get at. And this is Rick Sispidis. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.